folks, I want to take a minute today just to talk about a game that is doing good, inject some positivity, hopefully, into your lives, and let you guys know that not everything is doom and gloom in the trading card market. Pokemon, I'm going to say it, is the best card game right now from a collecting and financial perspective. They're firing on all cylinders, and the stats and the and, and the percentages, they don't lie, and they paint a picture that I think Pokemon's going to not only keep on crushing it, but they're just going to keep on, the products are going to keep rising. Ones that are already out, I think they're going to keep going up. I don't usually like to say that, but I really do. Silver Tempest, it's not even two months old. $103 at its low. It's $128 right now on TCG. That's a 24% gain in less than two months. And Lost Origin, I think bottomed out at about $100. It's up to 130 now. That's a 30% gain in less than a year. Astral Radiance, kind of the, the oddball one out. Bottomed out around 110 after the whole like pre-leak and, and all of that stuff. I don't I don't remember the whole story, but came out I think in May like 27th or so. So it's $110 at its at its at its low, I'll say. It's $110 now, so really no change. Um, which is interesting in of itself, in my opinion, because everything else follows a similar pattern. Brilliant stars gets right back to that pattern. It came down as low as $132. Up to 175 now. That's about a 32 percent ish gain. And again, I think that's I, I forget when that one came out, but it's within a year. So 32 percent in a year is impressive. Fusion Strike keeps following suit. Bombed out around 96. It's 123 now. It's about 28 percent gain for something that's just over a year old. Evolving Skies. I need both hands for this. Evolving Skies is literally. $280 from a low of 125. It's 191% gain if you're good at math. And if you're not, that's just a big number. So I can't say if it's, I don't, I don't, I think that that one realistically would probably slow down and kind of appreciate more slowly. I think a big jump for that's already happened. Maybe it'll have a big jump again. Be interesting to see if they did a reprint of Evolving Skies. But honestly, even if they do a reprint of Evolving Skies, I don't see it dropping, you know, back down to $100. I bet you they'll probably release a small amount for $100, and it's going to go right back up to definitely above that. Can't say, but that's just that's just my opinion. Chilling Rain, the last one I'm going to cover, it's about 90 I think it bottomed out around $91. It's 130 now. It's up 42%, so follow suit with all the other ones. So we have two oddballs out. We have Actual Radiance and Evolving Skies. One did absolutely nothing, and one has just, I mean, conquered and i don't think there's any product i actually i think i can safely say that i don't think there's a booster box of anything in the last year or year or two years from any set that's appreciated that much in that much time if there is let me know in the comments don't count anything fancy or you know like promos or anything i want to know a set to a game or an expansion to a game that's done almost 200 percent in less than a year so tell me what you guys think were you surprised i was a little surprised and I don't know. This kind of makes me feel like things aren't as dark sometimes. So see you guys next time.